Hi everyone and welcome back. You know, I've often met people who have sat with me and looking back over their life, they have said, you know, Peter, I have many regrets. And they look back at situations that could have been different. They look back at things that perhaps they should have done. And yes, they have regret. And you know, if we're not careful, these regrets can become a real stumbling block. It's as if the enemy has a leash on us, a chain on us, that somehow limits us in our Christian growth and experience. These things of the past can really block us in our way forward. So Paul addresses the situation in 2 Corinthians chapter 7. And he simply says that godly sorrow works repentance. And this repentance leaves no regret. So I think we need to look back. And if there are issues in our life where we have regrets, what we should have done, what we could have done, I believe that with all sincerity of heart, when you come to the Lord and you cry to him and say, Lord, forgive me for what I should have done, what I could have done, forgive me. And you genuinely repent of that. You will be free from all regret. The other aspect is that we need to learn to forgive ourselves. We know that we are forgiven by God. And we know that this forgiveness enables us to forgive one another. But we need to forgive ourselves. And you know, this forgiveness literally means a letting go. It means I'm not holding on to anything of the past. Things that I've said that I've done, my slate is clean with God. So sometimes in our relationships, when we have done something and that we've hurt somebody and offended somebody, we come to God and we say, Lord, forgive me. And yet we don't feel the forgiveness from that particular person. We must be careful not to be drawn into an emotional trap. If you are clear with God, it is enough. If you need to say to that person, forgive me, say it. But don't go any further. Don't now try to earn their respect, earn their trust, earn their forgiveness. No, you are forgiven by God and you are clear. You have repented and you are clear. There's no regret and you can walk freely. As Paul says, I don't consider looking back, but one thing I do, I press on to what God has for me. Let that be the attitude of our hearts. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.